Hello guys and welcome to Tuesday Roundup for pre-season week 2. Uh, I'm going to give you all the scores from all 32 teams and then I'm going to find 49ers news along the way as well. And the team that I'll be looking out for at the moment for the regular season. So uh, yeah, let's shut up and get into the scores first. Okay, so here we go. I am on there. Games, pre-season week 2. So let's get into it. Friday was the Patriots and the Eagles, and the Patriots won 35 to nil. Uh, New York, uh, 145 points scored over uh, over the last four preseason games versus Philadelphia. Um, I can't see Philadelphia doing well this season. I really, really can't. Patriots did well. Um, Newton and uh, Mac are unreal. Big contenders for a playoff. Uh, but yeah, uh, fair play to them. Well done, 35 nil to them. Bengals, 13. Washington football team, 17. Uh, Jay Patterson for Washington, 19 touches, 96 scrimmage yards, touchdown. Fair play to them, well done. Third one, Chiefs, 17. Cardinals, 10. Arizona, 1-4 in the last five preseason games versus AFC West. Well done to the Chiefs on there. Saturday final. Uh, the Bills 41, Chicago Bears 15. Uh, Buffalo, most points in a preseason game since 2015. One to the Bills, that was on Saturday. Another Saturday game, which was big for me. I've seen the, the highlights, the 10-minute highlights of this. Jets 23, Packers 14. This was unbelievable. Zach Wilson, 9 of 11, 128 yards, two touchdowns, 154.7 passing rating for uh, fourth series. Um, the Jets are doing wonders, and this is the, this is one of the teams that I'll be looking for in the uh, regular uh, season. Uh, Robert Salas doing well. Zach Wilson is doing well. So yeah, um, two wins for the Jets. Well played, and against the Packers as well. So yeah, well done to the Jets. That's twenty three fourteen to them. Sunday, Ravens twenty, Panthers three. Uh, Baltimore won 19 straight preseason games, longest active streak going. 19 straight postseason uh, postseason games, preseason games. Sorry, so one to the Ravens on them. Sunday as well, Falcons 17, Dolphins 37. Uh, M uh, Gaskin, Miami t uh, two total touchdowns, rush wreck. Uh, well done to the Dolphins against the Falcons. We're doing well. So yeah, Falcons 17, Dolphins 37. The next Sunday game that was on. Titans 34, Buccaneers 3. Uh, Titans won four straight preseason row games. Well done to Titans. Bit, not, you know, dodgy on the Buccaneers. What's going on there? But, they might, you know, this is apparently the team that's going to defend the Super Bowl. Tom Brady's supposed to be kicking ass for this team. So what's going on there? So they, yeah, Titans 34, Buccaneers 3. Uh, the next Sunday game, uh, Lions 20, Steelers 26. Uh, Rosenberger, 8 of 10, 137 yards, 2 touchdowns, 158.3 passing rate uh, third series. Uh, well done to the Steelers, unlucky for the Lions. 20, 26. Uh, the next Sunday game after that was the Colts. 12 Vikings 10 that was a uh, that was a good game to be fair that was decent uh, E Pinrano Colts three made uh, three made field goals 28 31 50 yards uh, so we're on to the Colts 12 10 Texans and Cowboys that was Sunday as well uh, Texans 20 Cowboys 14 Dallas, few have been 17 points in nine of the last 10 season pre-games, pre-season games, sorry. Well done to the Texans. Cowboys, bleh, on the edge there for the Cowboys. But well done to the Texans, 20-14. The next Sunday game, this is what I'm telling the 49ers. And the 49ers need to be where? Raiders 17, Ram 16. Uh, Las Vegas Raiders won seven of the last eight preseason games and this is why we need if you checked on my last videos the 49ers need to be aware now 
that, you know, we need to win against the Raiders, but we need our starting, you know, not our backups of defence or offence. We need our prime, you know, our prime time starters to finish the job. But there you go, Raiders 17, Rams 16. Another Sunday game, Broncos 30, Seahawks 3. Uh, Denver allowed 10 points or fewer in six of the last eight preseason games. What is Seahawks going on about? Well on to the Broncos, 30 to 3. Sunday, another game, Giants 13, Browns 17. Uh, Brown, Browns allow fewer than 20 points in 14 straight preseason games. Well on to the Browns. And then our game, Monday, we did well, 15 10 to the 49ers. Trey Lance, 8 to 4, 102 yards, two touchdowns, interception, a sacked twice. Yes, Trey wasn't having a good one, but better than Jimmy G, I know that. But we won overall 15 to 10. And the final, Jags 21, Saints 23. Uh, Jay Winston, uh, number 9 of 10, 123 yards, two touchdowns, 157.5 passing rating, third series. Jags nearly caught up, apparently, and didn't see the game. Um, and that's against the Saints. 21-23. So yeah, that's the Tuesday roundup on the scores. I have Fields is doing well. Trevor Lawrence is doing well. We're getting there. You know, all all our rookie quarterbacks are in, settling down, but they're automatically kicking ass. I hear Justin Fields is doing good, even though of the score. Um, he's doing really well. Zach Wilson apparently is doing phenomenal. And the game looked phenomenal as well. So, yeah, I think that's going to be one of the teams for me to look out for on the regular season. Matt Jones is just settled. He's doing really well. So, yeah, big competition for the regular season to get to a playoffs. Um, and, yeah, that's the scores, guys. And that's it on that one. Uh, I want to see if there's any 49ers, 49ers news as well for you guys. Um, I've been through all the websites and everything else. I do not see nothing really spectacular or anything. The training camp's coming up as well. Uh, that'll be out soon. Um, but other than that, I think this is like the biggest news going. Maurice Hurst has a high ankle sprain. Michael, uh, Michael Hendricks has a turf toe injury. Both players are expected to miss a month. So let's read that. Uh, this is on NinersNation.com, um, and this is by an article by Cole uh, Posey. Let's read. The 49ers head coach Carl Shanahan had a brief conference call with the media Monday afternoon and said, Trey Lance looked better with his uh, fundamentals and workouts in the game Sunday than preseason game one. He said he took well to coaching. Yeah, sure. Uh, outside of that, the talk mostly, uh, mostly surrounded the latest injuries surrounded the 49ers defensive tackle. Uh, Hurst has a high ankle, uh, high ankle sprain. Linebacker Michael Hendricks is dealing with a turf toe injury. Shanahan said both players expect to miss about a month. Uh, it should be noted that Shanahan said at least a month for both players. As a result, uh, uh, expert to see some roster sh uh, shuffling as the Niners need to get down to 80 players from their current 85 before the deadline on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Which I should have now, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll have a look for that for you guys as well. Um, it's uh, um, uh, unfortunate for Hurst's case as he was uh, looked a lot, uh, lot to make the roster. Uh, now this short-term injury could open up the door for a player like Zach Kerr who was on the roster bubble uh, to take advantage of his opportunity. Uh, scenario, Kilterman has a back injury in his day-to-day. -day. Cornerback Alexander Myers was cleared of a concussion. Uh, late last night, the return to Santa Clara has shifted the, uh, the schedule and the head coach will meet with general manager John Lynch, Lynch later this evening to discuss roster moves. Shanahan said it's tough to make any roster moves when you get back so late. Shanahan said the plan is to play his starters, even the veterans who haven't played in the preseason but are healthy like Kittle during the preseason final against the Raiders next Sunday. That game will be uh, will still be used as a dress rehearsal for the season. So Kittle could be playing, so that's good. Shanahan was asked about his fifth round picks uh, when asked if uh, Hufanga was putting himself in a position to start. I think the way he's played during the last two weeks, I think he's definitely given himself an opportunity. Good, because he's done well. 
Uh, when asked whenever Jalen uh, Jalen Moore would get an opportunity to work at right guard, uh, we're trying to figure out who was best eight out of nine guys on the roster due to some of the injuries at camp. We haven't been able to play him at guard. I think that's been a good for, thing for him. Uh, down the line, uh, once the 49ers get healthier at offensive tackle, we could see more receive reps at guard. Uh, as for now, Moore has impressed. I'm happy where he's at. My galaxy brain take the 49ers is that Cole Juice should be the third down back. The third down back. Uh, if you notice on Jimmy G's first drop uh, back, uh, Juice ran a nice route, caught the ball, immediately got up the field. I asked Shanahan if he could uh, considered using Jusic in that role. And while he gave somewhat of a cliche answer, uh, cutting how he's fullback is more of a do it all guy. Shanahan said, uh, Shanahan did say it starts with protection when figuring out who could play in that role. Remember when John Lynch said that Shanahan was drawing up plans for Lance on the plane ride back from uh, Ohio State's Pro Day? Shanahan didn't confirm or deny, but he had a tangle about how no plays are necessary new uh, anymore. Personally, I don't think there are new plays in football. So when someone acts like they've created a new play, it was probably done 40 years ago. Shanahan uh, seated the run and shoot offense as well as the veer and even find a way to work in former uh, quarterback Tommy Frazier. Practice is Wednesday, which should be the last or second to last the media is allowed to observe. And yes, I'll find out the final roster of what's going on. But until then, that's all the news I've got and anything else. Um, thank you very much for watching the Tuesday Roundup on pre-season two. Um, thank you very much for the 40 subscribers. Really fortunate. I appreciate you guys subscribed. And if you're new, subscribed. I'll be doing 49ers news, the training camps, and we're doing the last uh, week of the 40-minute reaction to the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. 49ers and then you'll see me live during the regular season so yeah um thanks for guys for watching i'll see you guys uh, on the next video